Hey guys, I'm Heston with W4 Services, and this is the W4 Show, Episode 5. In this episode, we talk about Orca coolers and whether or not this thing will hold water when it's upside down. Currently, this is the only brand of cooler that we actually distribute, and that's why it's the only brand that I have sitting here in front of you today. I'm going to talk about a few of the, the high points and the good things about Orca coolers. And I'm also going to be downright honest with you about Orca coolers as well. There are actually four colors that they manufacture. Um, and the, the fourth color, the one that you're not seeing here, is actually the one that we keep selling out of. Like I order 75% pink and I, I, that's the one that sells. It always sells out more quickly than the rest. Pink is a big seller on the Orca cooler. It's very identifiable. It's not a light pink like Pepto or something like that. It is bright, like bright pink. You can go online, you can look at it. That's, that's actually what it looks like. Those pictures that you see online, it actually is that bright. And it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of partial to this green. I think it's pretty nice. But I think that that's one of the strong suits that Orca brings to the cooler game is that they've got several colors that all pretty much look good. It's not, like there's none of that weird like baby blue color or any of that sort of weirdness going on. So as you can see, the Orca logo is embossed really large on the inside of the lid here. It's got a little inspection sticker and stuff, and then this is basically a sticker that says don't lock your kids inside the cooler. I'm surprised that that actually needs to have a sticker on there, but apparently the uh, legal somewhere told them that, that they better put that on there. Anyway, I've heard that that sticker can be a really big pain to get off, uh, thanks to a blogger called Art C Chick, that's A-R-T-S-E-A -E Chick, C-H-I-C. Uh, you can Google that blog and I'm sure it'll pop up. I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. Anyway, she actually has one of these coolers. And she discovered that the best way to get that sticker off of there and clean up the adhesive that's underneath there, because that doesn't peel off very well. It's kind of a junky adhesive. I don't know why they... Put it on there using that. That's that's kind of a pain if you get one of these. But she actually discovered that if you use coconut oil, that that sticker will come off much much more easily. Uh, some of them that we get actually come with a metallic sticker inside. Not all of them. This one doesn't have it. Let's see if this one's got one inside. Yeah, that one's got one in there. So. I don't know, I'll just put one in here because this one got two. I really like her logo too. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a, a whale tail here. And then inside that whale tail, that's actually a fish hook design. It's kind of a cool looking thing. Um, orca, so that kind of describes the whale tail. But what you may not know is that Orca is actually an acronym for the Outdoor Recreational Company of America. It's 100% American owned and founded and uh, they manufacture all these coolers here in the United States with U.S. based materials and U.S. labor. And I commend them for that. There are several other brands out there that say made in the USA. And if you look into it, it'll be, yeah, it's like it's assembled in the USA, but it's parts that are made in China or made in Mexico or some other country. And again, not that there's anything particularly wrong with that, you know, go whatever direction you want there. But whenever they say made in the USA, but they don't tell you it's with Chinese parts, I feel like that's being a little bit dishonest. Orca, I kind of followed up on them and I checked in. I'll tell you that story here in a second. I checked up on them and these actually are made in the USA, manufactured in the USA with American materials, American labor, and even their little parts like this, that's the story I'm gonna tell you in a second, are actually made in the USA. So this little thing here, it, it's got a name on it that says, Actus, A-C-T-U-S, St. Paul, Minnesota. So I'm like, well, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of that company before. So I Googled it, and I started searching around, and I found this part number, uh, actually, and its original purpose, its original design, is actually a hood latch. This holds the hood down on United States Humvees. This is the hood latch for a Hummer, and they're using it on a cooler. That is one of the strongest points on an older model of Orca up until, I would say, probably mid-2015. I don't actually have a date for you. Um, 
as to when they switch these latches. But if you get an older one, if you're going to buy an Orca, try to see if you can find one that has this style of latch. This style of latch will outperform any other latch on any other cooler that's made of rubber like this that you can find on our market. I don't know, I can't tell you how many times I've seen other major cooler brands with the latches that are falling apart in the back of a truck after a year. These ones aren't going to do that to you. They'll last. Mid-2015 or so, somewhere in that range, uh, late 2015 maybe, they actually changed this latch. And I understand where they're going with that. I don't have one out here. I wish I did, but you can look it up and see it online. The new latch actually is the shape of their logo here. And it's a little bit thinner rubber. It's a little bit softer rubber. It's not as... Uh, it doesn't have that just kind of brute feel to it, which I think, I mean, like I said, I get where you're trying to go with this Orca, but these latches, uh, I, I think that that was actually a really good marketing point. You could have told everybody that this is designed to hold a hood down on a Humvee, and then you wouldn't have had to go out and make your own latches with your whale tail and stuff that, are, that just feel more flimsy. Um, but you know that's just me. You gotta do. You gotta do you, and I understand that. That's cool. Okay, the top here is is kind of sort of textured. So let's open this thing up and get inside of it. Oh, there's that yellow sticker again. And what else comes in here? You got gear up at the official Orca Outfitter. It's a uh, how, tips on how to keep your cooler at its coolest. They've actually got a little um, informational bifold pamphlet sort of thing in here. I actually took an Orca cooler on a 12,500 mile road trip earlier this summer around the national parks since it's, a, it's the centennial of the national parks this year here in the United States. And it performed remarkably well. Uh, I took a 40 quart Orca and uh, Loved it. There were three of us. We ate out of that thing. We stored all of our food in it and used it for several weeks on end. Whenever we had an opportunity, we just hosed it out, washed it with some regular dish soap, like Dawn dish soap or whatever, and uh, threw the food back in there, threw some ice on it, and took off and went. And it was great. It was awesome. Worked very well. Didn't leak on us or anything like that. On the inside, nothing really special. It does. It does have the lines here where you can add racks. Uh, by the way, this is the 26 quart version. There are several versions. The, the internal dimensions here change quite a bit on some of them, like for example, the 58 quart. Uh, it seems really deep. It, it, it's deep in this direction, whereas the 75 is, is a, a longer one, as you would probably expect a more traditional cooler to look like. The 40, for me, me and my wife, um, and sometimes our seven-year-old niece, the 40 works really well. This 26 would be great. It fits a, one case of water in here. It fits perfectly. You can put one case of water in here with just enough room for one bag of ice. So if you're going to throw this in the back of your truck and go working for a day, case of water, bag of ice, cold all day. Now that's just kind of a really cool test. I ought to fill this thing up with water seal the lid, flip it upside down, and just see how it seals. I haven't had a couple complaints that they don't perfectly seal along the top. Um, that could be molding issues, it could be sealing issues, it could be a number of things. Uh, but we'll test that. You know what, now that I'm thinking about that, we'll test that. As soon as I get in a chat about all these features, we'll go outside, we'll set it up, fill this thing up with water, I'll close the lid and we'll flip it upside down and see what happens. Okay, these parts are... Um, Entirely replaceable, so if the dog chews it off or uh, gets cut or something like that, you can replace these items, and they're, they're relatively inexpensive. That goes for the plug as well. This is actually something that I thought that Orca did that was really smart. This plug it is the same plug. It's the same style, same threads and everything. It's a plug for a Yeti cooler. So let's say maybe you're on a trip and you lose that plug. And you're freaking out and thinking, holy crap, where am I going to get an Orca plug in the middle of wherever it is I'm at? If you can find someone that sells a Yet, uh, Yeti plug, you can buy that one and it'll fit in here. The box has got these plastic feet, which um, 
I've had these snag whenever you're dragging it out of a truck. I've had these things actually snag <coughs> and pull off before. These ones actually look like they're staying on better, but I have had these feet fall off several times, so you might want to watch for that if you decide to get an orca and you're going to be throwing it in and out of a truck or something like that, dragging it across an uneven surface, you want to watch your feet because you don't want to lose that. But again, those are replaceable, so even if you did lose one, it's not going to be that big. On the back, this is something else the Orca does that I think is really awesome. Every single one of them comes with this uh, screwed on little pouch sort of thing. This is a mesh, uh, more coarse mesh on the outside and uh, thinner mesh on the inside. This is a synthetic fabric. I don't know if it's UV stabilized or not, so I don't know how well it does. I've never seen one falling apart, I've never seen one torn, I've never seen it ripped off. So. I'm going to take that as a good thing. It, is, it does have Velcro, so that comes open, and this is elastic. So you could jam, you know, like your bottle opener or, um, you know, anything else that you might have, like some tongs if you're grilling out or whatever, I don't know. Any, any small items like that, you could throw those in there, and that would be a great place to store them. Okay, so it's got these holes here. Uh, this is for locking security. Uh, I haven't personally tried several of the other brand of locks, but I think that the, the lock that you can get for um, for Yetis will actually fit in here as well. But it's recessed, so you can slide it in like that, close your lid, and still have enough space in there. You can also use a padlock right through here on each one of these corners to secure it. Um, it does have a slight recess right here on the on both sides. For running a ratchet strap up and over the top, and keep that ratchet strap located. Uh, pricing structure comes in just under the Yeti. These ones are, depending on where you get it, they're going to be anywhere from about uh, around twenty dollars less than a similarly sized Yeti. So that kind of gives you an idea of what pricing you're going to be looking at on this cooler. So uh, that being said, um, let's go outside, fill this thing up with water, and flip it. Okay guys, so as you can see, I put some water in there. It's straight out of the hose, so there might be a couple little floaters or something in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to flip this cooler over in that direction, and uh, we'll watch the concrete to see if it gets wet. Lid is closed. That's sealed tightly. Looks pretty good on this side. Actually, you know what? It just leaked whenever I first turned it over. But now, I don't think it's leaking at all. That puddle is not growing. That cooler is not leaking. So, if it turns completely upside down, the cooler will leak. I mean, uh, if it turns completely upside down, it may leak momentarily, but it looks like it would stop leaking. Let's see what happens if we just turn it up on its side. Because I think that's whenever it really kind of started leaking, which would kind of make sense. Okay, yeah, see that's... leaking quite a bit. All right, so if it's on the edge, if it just turns over on its side, it's gonna leak. If it's completely upside down, it won't leak. Overall, Orca Cooler is a great product. They sell good coolers, they make good coolers. If you have any questions or anything about Orca Coolers, um, send us a message on Facebook, Twitter. Um, you can call us at 806-323-6565. We'll try to do whatever we can to answer any of these questions. Or you can contact Orca directly. It's uh, You can go to their website, just Google Orca Coolers, it'll pop up. I believe it's orcacoolers.com. There's some nice people over there that'll answer the phone, and they'll do everything that they can to help you out. Um, you can find a ton of different independent research on these things, different videos where they put them side by side with several other name brand coolers. If you're doing that kind of research to figure out what brand you want, 
then uh, check that out. Let us know if we can help you out with anything else, and thanks for your time. Have a good day.